Hau tan sa tao ay gahkewig ng tatams ko wow. No ako magantig. Magapmis na ni Hewas kam gag. Ntay sini makahkewig tatams ka at na wow. Good morning to everyone. My name is Chief Jack Rain. I'm from the Big River First Nation. I would like to thank the, the elders this morning for their prayers. I would like to thank the chiefs, council members, dignitaries, distinguished guests, visitors, and members of the press. Big River First Nation has always welcomed innovation and technology. And today we are honored to represent as lead champions for the First Nations community portion for this project. Tricycle is a digital tool to increase indigenous to indigenous supports in First Nations communities for people who may be struggling in addiction, depression, or mental health. This innovative approach will introduce a first of its kind tethered approach to wellness and care. This program provides access to a free mobile app available in both English and Cree, supported by trusted community led nurses and health team members who can reach out to offer support. Program participants receive regular reminders to check in the app and share information about how they are feeling and coping that day. This information helps to identify early warnings, signs and risk before event crisis. Our Big River First Nation health team began this journey with Tricycle in 2020. With the app itself, it has involved, evolved since. We are proud to say we are utilizing the app for our own community and health needs. It is an understatement to say that we are not only excited at the idea of ownership of our own health strategy and data sovereignty, but also for the results for change for a healthier community. We are also appreciative of this path and high priority of creation of an app from a First Nations approach of which we received from Tricycle. For us, the meeting of, of the First Nations beliefs and modern technology for a new path in First Nations health is inspiring and full of hope to see that together we can build a way forward. I would like to acknowledge Big River First Nation health team for taking this, this project even in the midst of dealing with COVID-19 pandemic. The care of our community is seen daily, so thank you very much. Of course, I would like to recognize our innovative partners, Tricycle, for the vision and care that is evident in the project that we are announcing today. We are grateful for the journey thus far and look forward to future initiatives. And finally, we acknowledge the Federated Sovereign Indigenous Nations for taking on reconciliation initiatives as this, where we, our own people, can help our own people with other people to take steps towards healing in a holistic manner, and also according to treaty mandate. This project and partnership are a monumental step in the right direction towards a healthy future for our children and grandchildren. And we will continue to extend our commitment to work with those who wish to help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is John Macbeth, and I'm the CEO of Tricycle Data Systems. Uh, before I get started, I would like to uh, thank the people of uh, uh, Treaty 6 territory uh, for their generosity and their support for hosting this wonderful event. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, Grand Chief Cameron, uh, Chief Rain, Chief Bear, uh, Grand Chief Ross, and uh, Vice Chief uh, Pratt and Vice Chief Laura for inviting us to share in this truly historic announcement. Uh, today is a 12 year, the culmination of a 12 year journey for us uh, at Tricycle. It's been an amazing journey. Uh, one that has seen us visit indigenous communities in five provinces, three territories, four American states, and soon in Australia, Central America and South America. For thousands of years, Indigenous people have been health and technology innovators by embracing the teachings of elders and previous generations, and by sustainably harnessing only what the land, water, and sky provided. Today's declaration is in keeping with the spirit of the work completed by those 
before us. Western medicine has a lot to learn from indigenous people. And we, for one, are very grateful for the chance to work amongst these incredible communities so that we can all benefit from the old and the new ways. We are thrilled, small part of this ambitious vision, to reimagine the relationship between traditional healing and modern methods as we collectively embark on an exciting new partnership to improve Indigenous health outcomes. Uh, this is truly a joint venture. Uh, and Tricycle would specifically like to thank the Federation of Sovereign Indigenous Nations, Big River First Nation, uh, IBM Panorama, Microsoft Canada, Roche Canada, Indigenous Services Canada, the Royal Canadian Legion, OSI Can, Aboriginal Veteran Autochones, RGX, RGAX, excuse me, and PharmaSmart for helping us to get this idea off the ground. Thank you very much. Thank you. My name is uh, Stephen Ross, Grand Chief of the Saskatchewan First Nations. Veterans Association. <clears throat> I'd like to thank, first of all, I guess, uh, the creator for giving us another day, another beautiful day. Thank you. We want to thank Chief Jack Rain from the Big River First Nation and Tricycle for including the veterans in this project. We are proud to advocate the programs that are our First Nations veterans. Our members have often shared stories of being post-war Indian residential school survivors who return home with complex and mental health problems like chronic, debilitating, and escalating trauma stress. An Indian's needs for crisis intervention, support, mentoring, advocacy, retaining, re-education, and a desire for community integration, 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 and acceptance. This accumulation need by an often ignored group of people that amounts to discrimination by public service requires a focused design approach to best identify gaps and find solutions for new policy, practice, programs, and services. This, projects, this project allows our participating veterans with PTSD is, issues who want to reach out for help and have the assistance they need at their fingertips. We know that Tricycle increases communication, improves engagement for our veterans. This is something new and unique in providing health services to our people. But we are willing and ready to learn and take on the challenge. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I too would like to acknowledge uh, our creator today. Uh, and uh, I acknowledge the leadership in the room and, uh, of course, our distinguished guests. And uh, thank you, Grand Chief, for your, for your kind words, always. Uh, today, I, I just want to say that I'm, uh, uh, it's a really honor and a privilege to be able to say a few words in, in regards to the, uh, the new app, uh, an exciting uh, tool that I understand that has been uh, used and it's been effective in the United States. And uh, uh, Chief Rain, uh, your courage and your, uh, uh, you know, for leading a project. I believe there's 10 other nations involved in the project. So I applaud you and your council, your, your uh, health team. I understand uh, uh, Derek Klein in this 
district. He's uh, uh, one of the, the leads as well. But, uh, you know, we know uh, with this pandemic, uh, you know, has shown how mental health uh, and addictions uh, continue to plague our people. And, uh, you know, I, I, I live in my own nation in Ochapways and uh, you know, not being able to have those resources uh, at our, our fingertips has been challenging. And of course, we still continue the struggles, the isolation, and uh, especially with addictions. And uh, I, I think this tool is really gonna help to support uh, the holistic uh, healing. And just even the confidence that, you know, the ideas and, uh, you know, uh, by our people, for our people, uh, meaningful and relevant, I think is really key in terms of uh, putting something forward. There is a spirit and intent to our, our treaties the medicine chest clause. And uh, I thank you for taking that um, spirit and intent and bringing it and showing the world, uh, our country, uh, you know, how to um, uh, take that spirit and intent. And, uh, you know, our ancestors, you know, touched the pen and they, they talked about famine and pestilence. And that was all um, incorporated in our treaties when, when they negotiated. So these days were talked about, and I'm so proud that our nations have that wisdom, that courage and that vision to do things today to help our people because they are suffering and uh, less will suffer because of what you've done. So thank you everyone. And uh, uh, I'm really uh, uh, looking forward to hearing more about this app. And I think uh, uh, others are gonna come along and. Uh, uh, be looking for this tool in their own communities. So thank you so much for giving me the time to applaud you all in this uh, great new innovative project. Thank you. Thank you. I believe we have 19, 20, five. We got 25, 25 views in the app already. And we're, we're getting good review, reviews from, from the ones that are using it. Has the app, you know, you mentioned one of the purposes of the app is to flag someone who might not be doing well so that you can connect them with resources and services. Has that happened? Yes. Yes. Has it averted potentially at the higher it's uh, it's what they said would happen. It's exactly what they said would happen. It's uh, it's uh, it's at your fingertips, and you, you get to you trace trace your your clients. It's uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's it's simple, and that's what I loved about it when I first heard about it. That's why we we jumped onto this initiative. It's it's excellent for our community. Yeah. Can you touch on a little bit just how it helps with the use of different languages for first nations? Well, it, it 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 recognizes the the language as well. So when we have when when we have uh, uh, paste, uh, I don't know really how to, how to how to explain that one. But um, John, maybe you want to touch on the mic. In, in just our, talk to the mic just so they can hear you. Sorry. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Um, in 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 our humble opinion, you cannot have culture without language. You cannot have language without culture. Um, and being able to provide this in a culturally sensitive way is paramount uh, to any type of, of future success. So um, we were uh, given a tremendous amount of support from uh, Big River First Nation in helping guide us uh, to develop the solution uh, in a way that would be uh, well received by, by the users. And they would be able to choose if they wanted to get it in their uh, their first language or their second language and to be able to build on that in the future. So we've started out uh, a translation through uh, the support of uh, a Big River First Nation in Cree and the intention is to build this into multiple languages as we expand into other geographical community communities. Well, 
third is about the relationship between the United States and the MML, of course, we're looking at Australia. Um, what's the third company? Why are you investing in sort of the United States? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, it's not just about the United States, it's about the United States. The entire concept of tricycle, ironically, was an indigenous concept that started in 2012. Um, when I said that this has been a 12-year journey, we spent four years researching, listening, visiting communities, understanding uh, exactly what Chief Bear was saying, talking about the gaps. Um, so what we were able to do is deliver this in, into New England, predominantly in, in North, uh, Northeast United States. We've had multiple thousands of people using the technology um, the concept really is to keep people in communication, to, uh, addiction, mental health, substance use disorder, suicide, self-harm. A lot of these are lack of connection, lack of ability to stay connected with another human being. So uh, the support of the FSIN and Big River First Nation initially was, was, a huge, um, uh, was a huge advantage for us in that it allowed us to kind of learn how to better serve these communities uh, in a very sensitive way. That's that's up to the First Nation. That's up to the community. Um, we are we're serving the First Nations communities, not necessarily um, the, the greater kind of provincial side of things. So what the what the First Nation decides to do, um, that is our focus. How uh, Right now, we've been able to get a private public partnership. So Indigenous Services Canada has invested directly in the concept. FSIN has direct uh, invested directly in the concept. Big River First Nation. Uh, has invested in the concept. Um, Roche Pharmaceuticals, we have uh, several of our partners here today with the Royal Canadian Legion, OSI CAN, RGAX, they've all invested in this vision because they understand that we have to fill these gaps, that these gaps are no longer sustainable. Are you able to tell me how much science put in, how much science put in, for example? I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Can you tell me how much science put in, I'll leave that for them to make that, uh, to answer that if you, if you don't mind. We got a question online that says, can you describe how the, act, uh, how the app is actually used by the patient on a daily basis? Did you want that one, Chief? <laughs> 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 um, the, 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 the app is a customized solution between the practitioner and the patient. We believe that you actually have to have uh, some type of customization where the, where the patient believes that this is... Uh, working for them. So we only ask the patient to engage around five minutes total per week. So it's not a lot in the uh, um, uh, of, of activity there. We're able to kind of keep uh, using artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, proprietary algorithms, all of this technical stuff. Uh, we're able to build it in a way that in real time provides alerts, early warning to the practitioner so that they can begin to catch a problem before it, before it happens. Uh, often we spend way too much time and money chasing problems um, when it just makes sense if we could avert it, stop it before it happens, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of lives are gonna be saved, a lot of time is gonna be saved and a lot of money is going to be saved. There's another question that says, can you give a couple of examples of how the app works? Do you like me to go back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you. Thank you, Chief. I guess. Um, so it's uh, in our scenario, it's up to the practitioner to determine what are we targeting um, as the uh, um, as the issue. Um, the practitioner identifies if we're dealing with a substance use, uh, a mental health, uh, a suicide or self-harm scenario. It might have something to do with diabetes. Uh, it's built in a modular sense. So basically what happens is the practitioner identifies those modules brings it into the app, and then we start harvesting that data in a, in a very customized approach so that the practitioner has insights. We're looking at behavioral insights that allows us to kind of interpret if that person is at risk or not. Yeah, we got a better... Yeah, one, two. <laughs>